Hey, right here, and today I'm doing my January TBR move. My January wrap up and TBR. So, what did I read in January? I read Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Rowell thing. I found this, it wasn't like my favourite read ever, but I enjoyed it, but it's not standing out for me on my read shelf. For me, it's not a 5 out of 5 read. I think I read it at like 4 out of five on Goodreads or something. But yeah, I, I, I did enjoy it. You do end up shipping Kath and Levi in the end and stuff. And yeah, the, what is it? Fan, the fan fiction aspect was really cool too. How it was like a, um, how it was like the Simon Snow thing was like Harry Potter in a way. The next book I read in January, it was Saga Volume 2. Enough of it around on book you to know what it looks like. Yeah, I read it when I was in Wellington. I was waiting around in the library, waiting for my mother to finish work. And uh, yeah, I read it there because I was, board and I was looking at the graphic novels, saw Saga, read it. Yeah, I really like the aspect that, that um, they have with the kid as the narrator. There's still, I still like the art work, the art in it. Can't really remember too much about it though. The third book I read in January was the graphic novel Anya's Ghost. Yeah, that was, I didn't overly, I, it was, it was just okay to me. It was pretty flat, I think. That wasn't like my favourite. I think I just read it like, I think I read it like a three. Because I was just like, well, I just didn't really fully enjoy Anya's Ghost as a, as a book. The next book I read was an actual novel this time, and it's A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. This book, for me, the, throughout the whole thing, up until the last 90 odd pages, was pretty flat. The cover will always, you know, be awesome in my mind, but the storyline was sort of like, up until the ni last 90 pages, was sort of like just straight just like flat. You, stuff happens, like things happen, but it's not, it doesn't make you go like, oh my god, that was amazing. But yeah, I think I read it as a four. The last, the last book I read for January was Half Bad by Sally Green. I really like this cover and stuff. It's really, really cool. Um, this book, once again, the ending was kind of better than most of the story. It started, it started off really, really cool, written in second person. I was kind of expecting that more throughout the book, this whole second person narration thing. Um, but it only really happened in the first bit of the book and then for like a chapter in part three or something. It started off really, really interesting. It grabs your attention in the beginning, but then the rest of the book sort of falls off. There was a lot of character building, a lot, a lot of character development. It was, it was pretty much borderline a little too much, I thought. There was a whole lot of pages that are, like, the whole of part two is pretty much how the main character, Nathan, how he lived, how he got to be where we see him, where we first see him. And then we sort of catch up to where he is and then the story just goes on after, onwards after we catch up to him at the beginning. I'm probably like just interested enough to read the sequel when it comes out. There are a few memorable characters in it, a few characters that I liked and stuff, but the rest was sort of just like, eh, okay, yeah, okay. I wish there would have been more witchcraft in this because it's meant to be a witch book. So now is going to be my February TBR. I've just started reading Winger by Andrew Smith, so I'm going to be finishing that in, in the month of Feb. I'm um, just like that much through and to the book. That's, that's okay so far. It's, yeah, it's holding my attention. Next, I'm going to attempt to finish The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. I, I am like 24 pages into this at the moment. And um, it's just, for me, it's kind of difficult to try and read a classic because it's, it's such a different sort of writing style. Yeah, so I'm going to try and finish this in the month of February. It's only like 100 pages, but it shouldn't be that bad, but it's sort of difficult to sort of hold me, sort of. And um, lastly, I'm going to attempt to read The Impossible Enough of Memory by Laurie House Anderson. I know in the month of January I read five books, and I only have three on this list, but I'm not pushing myself. I'd like to read like a book a week, but I know if I try and stand by that, it's going to be like, it's going to go downhill. I can, I can see it now. Um, so yeah, I'm sticking to three books, three books a week. Yeah, I've heard that Laurie House Anderson writes about difficult subjects, topics and stuff. I'm sort of interested to see what's in, what happens in this one, sort of. Yeah. So that's just why it's on my February TBR. We'll probably see you in the next one, which is probably going to be a haul or something. I don't know. Um, so yeah, stay tuned and I hopefully will have, try, I'll hopefully try and get more videos out soon. Because I'm going back down south soon and probably have more, a little bit more filming time and I'm not running around up to my nephews. Yeah, so I'll see you in the next one. Laters.